We need to look at how we can actually implement changes to our safe systems of work in terms of how we go about it on site and make sure that we build them in to our culture and embed them as part of our behaviour every day on site. There are different systems on the market, this being one of them. This is a proximity warning system which can be used as part of a safe system of work and this transmitter will speak to a receiver in the machine and alert the machine driver if somebody has entered a preset radius of the machine itself. We're looking at how to implement these on the M4, M5 project, but as with any safe system of work, it has to be carefully brought in. There's no point bringing an item of technology in if it's not been carefully built into the existing safe systems of work. In particular, the gate system. We need to control who goes into a working area. So we need to make sure we think very carefully about who gets issued to these and the control measures that are in place. As with everything we've talked about today, it is part of a safe system of work. There is no one single item that will magically improve plant person interface. We start with behavior. We use items like this. We have training sessions like this. We also use cards and risk assessments and method statements and we build in detailed drawings and explain what plant working zones are, all part of a safe system of work. So let's have a look. Let's see how this could have actually made a change to the incident that we've just seen. All right, Chris, got the warning system on? Yep. Did the test? Let's go, Ryan. It can be part of a safe system of work. When it's woven in with the existing controls that we use, how do we keep people out of the areas to begin with? How do we brief the individuals who may need to work in an area?